What's going on YouTube? This is what Josh do and this is going to be a video on how to tether your Galaxy Note 3 without using custom recovery, without tripping Knox, but you must have root. And before anybody asks, I'm using Christmas HD. It is a live wallpaper that lets me put my daughter's name, my wife's name, and my name, and yeah, I think you can add another stocking or something. It's all in the settings of the app. It's called Christmas HD. It is right here. Christmas HD. I'll try to remember to have a link to it in the description, but it's pretty easy to find. It's the same people that make Halloween HD and a bunch of other cool live wallpapers that I got for 10 cents a couple years ago when they had the 10 cent 1 billion downloads or 1 million or whatever it was. Anyways, let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is open up your browser. And then up here, you're going to type in bit.ly slash note 3 tether. There you go. Remember, you can do all of this from your phone without using a computer. So, as long as you have root access, you can do this following along with this video. So, we're going to hit the checkbox. I'm using SwiftKey. So, this is going to take us to the XDA thread. We will see who it's by here in just a moment when it loads up. Three G on Sprint is completely unbearable. And that's why I love my $30 a month unlimited data plan through T-Mobile. So shout out to MJCOLLUM, MJ Colum, for um, putting this together. Um, if you're stock like I am, without a custom ROM or anything like that, without custom recovery, you'll need to go to the second post right here, stock ODEX MJ4. As of right now, MJ4 should be the latest. Um, and it is, you can see right there, the baseband is MJ4 and the build is MJ4. Um, even if there is an update, I'm not going to apply it because Samsung can, you know, yeah, I'm enjoying the CM11 on my Nexus 5 and that's all I'm going to say. So, um, go down here until you see this little download link, just click on it. And when you press on it, if it ever oh it's frozen okay would you believe me if i told you i was fast forwarding through 47 seconds of waiting right now okay i'm gonna connect to wi-fi because 3g is just not 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 even it's 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 useless anyways so we'll refresh it now that we have wi-fi and look at that loads right on up so we're gonna try this again it froze up last time so you're gonna need to do this hacked mj4 odex wi-fi and you press on it, and you press on it, and okay, Chrome is not working at the moment. So you know what? Let's use the default browser that comes with our Galaxy Note 3. Okay, so the internet is actually underneath the internet, uh, the Samsung folder. Same exact link, we're using the stock browser this time. That way we don't have any issues with it locking up and not working. So, one last time, we'll go to the second post. We'll go to this hacked MJ4 ODEX Wi-Fi. We'll press on it, and bam, it works just fine. We'll use the internet, hit just once, starts the download. And now our notifications, there's that hacked MJ4 ODEX um, zip. So we'll press on that, and then Root Explorer is a tool that can unzip um, you can grant it root permission that's why it's called root explorer and I mean it's just it's amazing if you have four dollars to spend or five dollars or whatever it is I highly recommend it highly so we'll open it up and it's telling us we have these two files in here we need to go to these two files and you press the little checkbox we need to press this little icon right here and then it's going to extract those two files and go to extracted this is important and then press on them, hit the little cut button, and go to, um, let's go, I'm going to show you to get to here. So, you'll go to, from root, you'll go to system. And then from here, you will go to framework. And then in here, you'll find services. Services.jar and services.odex. These are the files that are not letting you tether. You try to tether, it'll say, sorry, you can't do this. All we've got to do is press, well, actually, let's rename these first before we move them. So rename. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 
Oh yeah, you gotta press this little button that says mount, read, write. If it's the first time you ever press that button, it'll ask for root permission, just grant it. So services.jar, we'll rename that to dot b a k and swiftkey automatically spaced that so we'll just go back and press ok and services.odex we need to rename that one as well so go here little dot and then b a k and then press ok now press move here this is important so now you have your services.jar and your services.odex and you have your services.jar slash b or dot bak and your services.obex.bak. So if you ever want to um, remove Wi-Fi tether, you would just delete um, the services.jar and the services.odex, and you would backspace out the bak and the dot. So backspace to the where the R is, and then reboot your phone. So now you have to reboot your phone in order for tether to work correctly. Now it's really hard to press the power button with this case. And it's even harder to know that you're actually pressing it and to keep holding it. So I'm going to use Quick Boot and I'm going to choose Reboot. And that's going to make our phone reboot quickly and easily without, you know, trying to smash the power button a few times to get it to work correctly because this case is difficult. Oh, by the way, for those of you that are not following my Instagram, you will, you, if you were following me, you'd know that I'm getting about three days of battery life on this sucker right now. Or, no, on the last time I got three days, and Google Services was, had a location lock that kept my phone awake, the, the phone awake itself, for 11 hours before I finally disabled location services. And now I've had it for like two days, and it's at 60%. So it's, this is like the third day, I think. I'll show you in a minute. Alright, so I'll go ahead and go to settings, go to general, and then go to battery. Okay, so I'm on one day, two hours, and I'm at 57%. And my screen on time is three hours and 39 minutes as of right now. I backed up my entire phone with Titania Backup. I synced it. I've been doing a lot of stuff. been playing with uh, this new Aquamel app that I, I you know, downloaded. So, yeah. All right, so we're going to turn off Wi-Fi. And then we're going to go to Settings. And then we're going to go to um, Connections. And then click where it says Hotspot. And right here... It'll have something, I recommend backspacing it and just having it SM-N900P and then um, you can go to configure and then here's where you change all your settings. I'm gonna bring down the keyboard. So here's where you change the SSID. So like my username is www.josh.ew so I could name it that if I really want to but my Wi-Fi is already named that so I'm not going to. Um, under security, WPA, PSK, don't change that. For password, Actually, I recommend doing something very, very simple. Dr. Pepper is exactly eight letters, and it just works perfectly. So I recommend using Dr. Pepper. If you, do, if you can't think of an eight-letter password to use, just use Dr. Pepper. It's super easy to remember. And under advanced settings, this is pretty cool. You can actually broadcast over 5 gigahertz instead of 2.4 gigahertz because this is a wireless AC device and everything below that. So I do recommend keeping it on 2.4 gigahertz, because pretty much every single device picks up 2.4 gigahertz, but a lot of devices don't pick up 5 gigahertz. And I accidentally had that checked on my wife's S4 when I did this to her phone, um, except that it was a different method of doing this. Uh, it was like, why isn't my computer showing this? Because it was set on 5 gigahertz after doing the video. <laughs> and under maximum connections, I highly recommend changing it from 1 or 2. I think it's on 2 when you first do it to eight that way you can have eight things connected at the same time once everything looks good hit save then you can either start tethering by pressing right there or you can go right here and just hit on and it's going to say do you want to tether well sometimes it asks you do you want to tether and you go yes yes i do all right just to finish this video off and show you that this works we're going to go on our nvidia shield here we're going to go to our wi-fi and then there's that SM900P right there. So I'm going to go back because when you press on this hotspot where you see this screen right here, if any devices are configured, it'll tell you the name of the device. Like I have a Asus G750JH. Freaking love it. It's a beast. And it says 
ASUS, or it says G750JH connected, and it shows the IP address and the MAC address. So obviously we're not gonna go there and show you that, but we're gonna connect to our phone right here. And then the password, like I said, it's super easy to remember, D-R-P-E-P-P-E-R, -P 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 -E connect. And now it's gonna connect to our um, phone right here. It says one device connected to portable hotspot. And we're gonna try to load up well, obviously 3G is really, really slow, so we don't want to load up YouTube. Let's um, just launch the browser here. This should turn green or blue in a second. There we go. So we're going to go here. And we're just going to search for www.joshdew and then search. There we go. Look at that. So it's bringing up my Twitter, which I use it actively, so if you want to follow me, go ahead and do that. I also have a Facebook page, facebook.com slash www.joshdew. I also have a Google Plus, google.com slash plus www.joshdew. I'm on XDA. I'm on freaking everything. So uh, just search www.joshdew, and I also have links to all my social media accounts in the description below. Please click where it says show more to expand and see all the links. All right, it says we're connected to 4G, so let's go ahead and see if we have speed tests installed. And it does, and this is unfortunately, the screen just does this. It's, it's what, it is what it is. So we're gonna go ahead and test our connection here. And we're getting a terrible, terrible, not even two down. Uh, I'll post an Instagram um, picture in the description below. I was I had full bars of 4G LTE in my Sprint phone and full bars of 4G LTE in my T-Mobile phone here where I live. And freaking T-Mobile was like 28 down and Sprint was like 9. <laughs> so if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button below. And if you're new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe. I've got videos on the Note 2 on updating to 4.3 without getting the Knox bootloader. And I have videos on the HTC One with KitKat on it. I am gonna also install KitKat on my Note 2 and do a video on that. I've got videos on the S3, the S4, the Nvidia Shield here, my Note 3, my Nexus 5, a full review of the Nexus 5, and the full review of Steam 11 on the Nexus 5. Plus I got a video, a follow-up video of this battery once I've killed it a few times, which is gonna take several weeks. <laughs> I've got so many videos to do, and if you're not subscribed, you'll seriously miss out on a lot of great content. This is What Would Josh Do, and I'm out.